What was going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, Midnight Grind, talking about, uh, you know, Paula Mananaji, you know, pulling up on uh, Conor McGregor today at the Grand Arrivals uh, for Mayweather McGregor. And, um, you know, Paulie was actually speaking to McGregor's manager, I think, and it just looked like, you know, they just did some foul shit to Paulie. You know, Paulie always been 100, especially after his rant, after losing a Broner and losing a Baby Boy Diaz. Um, both of those rants and shit like that. But he's looking kind of groupyish versus Conor McGregor trying to run him down and prove his point. And I always thought that he was a spy for Mayweather, you know, um, to see what Conor McGregor was bringing to the boxing um, world. You know, you know Mayweather been on a martial tape or whatever, but he wanted to make sure this guy, you know, he knows something about this guy because that's Conor McGregor's biggest advantage going into this fight is the mystery of his boxing, you know, um, it takes some time for Floyd to adapt to certain styles, and if McGregor has one of those irky, jerky, awkward, effective boxing styles, you know, Floyd Mayweather going to do his homework and make sure everything is secure, but that's here nor there, you know, but Paulie pulled up on him and hollered at his manager, then McGregor came in and tried to put Paulie in his place, but Paulie isn't backing down, and, um, you know, you know, what was funny about it was Paulie gave McGregor his props as a boxer, you know, even before... You know, they put the tape that looked like they knocked down Paul Amanaji, which it, it was a push. Once I seen people snapshotting and slow it down, um, you know, that's they don't do that in boxing, man. You know, I don't know if they do it in MMA, UFC. I, I haven't really seen, but, you know, it's a sacred rule where, you know, that have been broken a lot in boxing as far as people talking about knocking guys out and sparring and other people. You're supposed to stay in the gym, but releasing knockouts, you know, footage, you know, knockdown footage like that, that's, that's petty. That's that's a cardinal sin in the sport of boxing. And that's what really got Paul Malinaji hot. You know, um, we've seen McGregor do it over and over and dog his sparring partners out. And it's an act. You know, it's an act. It's, it's clearly an act. But at the end of the day, you know, you know, Paulie, I don't know what he wants to gain by pulling up on Conor McGregor. Um, it's just, I guess it's just notoriety and fame for Paulie. I, I think that's what it is. He's clinging on McGregor um, and clinging on this fight to be, you know, get that fame like he's fighting that night. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's possible that Paulie will have the last last even without throwing a lick that night. Paulie is calling the fight. And let's see how objective um, Paulie stays, you know. Um, you know, will he be heavily favoring Mayweather? I really don't really ever really see Paulie Malignaggi really be super biased. Like where it's known, like it's some Teddy Atlas, top-ranked ESPN shit or HBO shit, you know, with that biased bullshit they be putting out sometimes. So it's going to be very clear to see if uh, Palomali Clips is cool. But well, I'm going to tell you, the one thing, if the fight isn't worth $100, you know, at the end of the day, but if Connor quits or gets knocked out, um, Palomali Naji is going to have a field day on the mic. You know, we don't need to hear all Bernstein, Steve Farhood, or whoever is the MMA UFC special guest. You know, we Palomali Naji will steal the show. You know, he's going to dog McGrayweather. Um, <laughs> uh, McGrayweather. <laughs> That's a new one, right? I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to add that shit, man. That was dope. But, um, you know, he's going to come down and um, dog my, uh, dog Connor out at the press conference after the fight, a week after the fight, a month after the fight. Every shot he gets to take at Connor McGregor, he's going to take it. And after the fight, his knee-jerk reaction, if McGregor gets knocked out or quit or some shit like that and gets embarrassed very bad, Paulie's going to let him have it. And Paulie is going to unload on his ass. You know what I mean? And May McGregor better be ready for it. You know, I understand that he came from the bottom. They said he was a poor, poor guy. So it ain't too much shit that, um, you know, he ain't seen and he ain't been through. But, um, you know, he handled the defeat well with Diaz. He seems like a really down-to-earth guy when he don't have that persona on as being Conor McGregor. When he's regular Conor McGregor, you know, he don't have that persona, man. You know, he, he seems like a real down-to-earth, smart dude, man, real humble. But you got to do what you got to do to sell the fight. And Paul Amanaji is going to make it. going to let him have it. You know, they're going to dog him. Trust me. Paulie's going to dog Connor. And that's going to be worth $100. You know, just hearing Paulie call it and dog him and tell him, I told you guys. So he he's washed up, bum, take your ass back to UFC. Um, but it's also worth the mission if Connor wins and shuts Paulie up. But we gone.